Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another episode of my top five salary cap positions. Guys, today what we're taking a look at is the running back position and the salary cap that we're trying to stay under is $65. All these players will be at least $65 or below. Some of them are actually even quite cheaper than that. So we're going to take a look at them. I'm going to explain to you guys why I like each of these cards, kind of the advantages that they have and, uh, you know, just generally what the idea is behind the $65 thing is that we want to make sure that we're getting a quality running back and somebody that we can utilize and somebody that can be really versatile but also somebody that isn't super super expensive because as we all know in doing the salary cap thing we can't spend a ton of money on many of these positions so with that being said guys we're going to hop right into it we're going to start off at number five at number five, we have LaDainian Tomlinson. This is the first legend card that he got. It's a 94 overall. And obviously, with it being LaDainian Tomlinson, we know that it's going to be a versatile player. We know that he's going to have good attributes in just about everything from running the ball to catching the ball, even blocking. And that's what LaDainian Tomlinson does bring to the table. He's $62 in the salary, so that's actually a pretty good price, but like I said, guys, he brings a lot of versatility. He's got some good speed at 93. It's not high-end, but it's good enough to get the job done for the most part. The acceleration is very high at a 96, so he gets to that top speed really quickly. Where he kind of lags behind some of these other players is that he does only have 72 for a strength attribute, and that's the lowest among the players that we're going to see today on this video, but he's got some really good attributes in other areas as well. His 96 carrying is excellent. His agility being a 94 is very good. His ball carrier vision being a 90 is solid. Uh, I mean, it's not among the best, but still at this price range, definitely one of the best. His stiff arm is a 99. That is really, really high, obviously. Trucking, he's a little bit lower than a lot of the other cards that you're going to see today at an 85, but he has great elusiveness, great spin move, great juke move. His catching is really where he makes his money, though, in terms of being, like, like I said, just a great overall back. He's got 86 for catching. He's got 81 for route running, 80 catch in traffic, and a 76 for spectacular catch. So a lot of great, great attributes out of LaDainian Tomlinson. And like I said, he's really, really well-rounded. One of the things that actually goes kind of unnoticed about this card is that if you were to run like a halfback pass or something like that with him, he actually has among the best passing attributes of any of the running backs in this game. So again, that's just another thing that makes him more versatile and a really good card. Last thing I want to point out about this card is that it does have a nice trait as well, and this is something that not all the top running backs have, and that's that it has a high motor. So, you know, that's something that it, it's debatable on exactly what that does, but we do know that these traits actually do get incorporated into Madden Ultimate Team, so it is something to consider. Um, we'll try and figure out at some point what that exactly means, but it's definitely worth noting nonetheless. Moving on to number four, we have Devonta Freeman. This is the ultimate freeze card. $62 as well in the salary cap, same as LaDainian Tomlinson, but quite a bit cheaper in terms of actual price. So if you were going to buy LaDainian Tomlinson, if you looked before, that card was going for about somewhere between 350 to 400,000 coins for the most part. So it's a very rare legend card, but you can actually find this Devonta Freeman, which has similar attributes, and I actually like it a little bit better overall than Tomlinson. Uh, and you can find it for about twenty to 25,000 coins. Right now, when I looked at this, it was going for about 40,000, but you can certainly find it for cheaper. Some of the things I like about this card, though, nice speed at a 94 with 95 acceleration, so he's pretty quick. He's got good strength as well at an 82. His agility is also extremely high at a 96. That is very high and actually the highest among any of the running backs we're going to look at today. His carrying is a 93, which is good. His ball carrier vision being an 88 is a little bit low, but it's still debatable on exactly what that attribute does. Stiff arm is an 82, which is the lowest among the running backs in today's video, but he makes up for it in so many other attributes. We already talked a little bit about agility uh, and his strength, but also he's got nice elusiveness as well. He's got a 94 for that attribute. His trucking's a 90. His spin move is a 95, which is the highest again among any of the players that we're going to see. Juke move being a 98 is again tied for the highest among any of the running backs in today's video, and his catching is an 80, which is second highest. His Route running is solid at a 68, catching traffic a 78, spectacular catch, surprisingly high at an 84. That's something that I wasn't expecting to see out of this card, but he's definitely a versatile player that can make plays. Now, one thing, again, that I really like about this card is that it has a nice trait as well. 
and that's that it makes sideline catches. So this is a card that you could send out in, into a, a receiving situation, and you could run like a corner route or something like that, do the possession catch, and he's going to make the catch. So that's something to look at. Definitely a nice card. At number three, we've got a card that I think a lot of people like, and that is the Honors Rookie of the Year, Todd Gurley. An awesome card. Pretty expensive, though. Cheapest price that I've seen it going for lately is around 200000 At the time of me making this video, there was only one of these cards up on the PlayStation 4, and as you can see, it was going for 297,000 coins. So it is expensive, but it's definitely a really good card as well. Um, it, the salary on it is 62, which is the same as the other ones that we've seen in today's video so far, but it has really nice attributes overall. 95 speed is the fastest of the running backs that we're going to be taking a look at today. He also has good acceleration at a 93. His strength is actually surprising surprisingly a little bit low. I was expecting it to be higher than the 78 that it is, considering the type of runner that Gurley is, but he has some good attributes in other areas. 95 for agility, 96 for carrying, 90 for a ball carrier vision, his stiff arm's a 93, his trucking is a 97, which is crazy high for a rookie running back, elusiveness at a 94, spin move a 93, juke move a 97, his catching is even decent at a 73, but his route running is not very good at a 55, catching traffic not great at a 66, and his spectacular catch only a 62. Those catching attributes are the reason that I have him only at number three and not a little bit higher on this list, but it's definitely a really, really nice card. Again, uh, Todd Gurley, it's always fun to use some of these young cards as well, so I definitely like Todd Gurley for that reason. The other thing, too, is that he does have the fights for extra yards attribute or the trait, which is certainly a nice thing to have, and you'll see that a lot of the running backs that get hit and carry the players forward are definitely these players that have these uh, this specific trait, the fights for extra yards one. So look for that when you're looking at other running backs as well. I definitely like that card. And again, guys, if you want to see what traits the players have, be sure to head on over to Mutthead and take a look at their database because they have all that stuff listed. At number two, we have a running back that a lot of people considered to be the best running back in this game for quite a while, and that was Eric Dickerson. He's going for about 60,000 coins on the auction block right now, which is the second cheapest of any of the running backs that you're going to see in today's video. Uh, again, you can see here, he was going for a little bit more than that when I made this video, but still, 60,000 is about the price that you're going to find him at. 62 for a salary as well, same as the other ones in today's video, but again, Really, really nice attributes overall. One of the things that I love about this card is that it has a combination of speed and strength. 94 speed with 98 acceleration. His 98 acceleration among the best at the running back position in this game right now. Strength at an 81, very good. Agility being a 95 means that you're going to be able to cut on a dime with him. A, a great carrying attribute as well at a 92. Not the best of the running backs that you're going to see today, but still very, very good. Ball carrier vision being a 90 is solid. It's right in the middle, I guess. Stiff arm, though, 99 for a stiff arm, 91 for trucking, 95 for elusiveness, 90 for a spin move, 98 for a juke move. Combine that with that agility, the speed, and the acceleration, you're talking about a great player in the open field. His catching is solid as well at a 76. He doesn't have great route running or catching traffic, only a 61 and a 73 respectively in those areas, and a 62 for spectacular catch isn't great either. But what this card does have is three of the most important traits at the running back position. First, we talked about fights for extra yards with Todd Gurley. This one has that as well. He also has the high motor that LaDainian Tomlinson had, but he also has the clutch trait, which again pretty much means that he's going to help perform in those situations, those fourth and one, those third and one, the end of the game, things like that. Very, very nice to have those traits, and it definitely helps make Eric Dickerson one of the best salary cap cards in the game right now. And last but not least, guys, number one, and this is the cheapest in terms of salary of any of the running backs in today's video, and that is Marshawn Lynch, 99 overall. So it's kind of crazy because this card, again, is 99 overall. A lot of people have kind of overlooked this card, I think, in the salary cap because a lot of people look at this as one that was kind of overpriced and really not as good as many of the other 99 running backs. But I'm telling you guys, if you look at the attributes, he's as good or better than almost all the players that we've listed in today's video, and he's still only 60 points. So very, very cheap. 92 speed and 95 acceleration. Now, the 92 speed for me 
Feels a little bit slow, I will say that, but the reality is that speed in this game, you just don't get that threshold like you did in previous games, in my opinion. So I still think that the 92 speed is going to be effective in most situations. 95 acceleration does help, but he has some really nice attributes for just being able to carry guys forward. First of all, he has 94 strength, which is an incredible attribute. He's got 101 stiff arm, 100 trucking, again, obviously the highest of any of the players that we've looked at today, 99 carrying, so you don't have to worry about him fumbling. He's still got decent agility at a 90, and his attributes like elusiveness, spin move, juke move, all that stuff is actually pretty good as well. 94 for elusive, uh, elusiveness. 90 for a spin move, 96 for a juke move, and his catching is actually still pretty solid as well. 78 for a catching. His route running isn't great at a 58. His catch in traffic is also pretty low at a 62, and his spectacular catch is only a 56. So I will say that he's not quite as versatile as some of the other running backs, but in some of those really important areas, like the stiff arm, the trucking, the uh, elusiveness, the ball carry vision, and just the pure carrying attributes, he is really, really good. He does also have the fights for extra yards attribute, as you might imagine, the, the trait, and then he also has the clutch trait as well, just like uh, your previous card that Eric Dickerson did. So again... Marshawn Lynch, 99, and the reason that he's number one on here is because he's as good or better in most of the areas than these other cards, and he's actually $2 cheaper. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a quick favor. Be sure to hit that like button, and of course, guys, subscribe to this channel if you are new. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what are some other running backs that you see that are really good price for the salary cap mode? And guys, let me know what other positions that you want to see here and roughly what type of salary cap range you want me to stick within as well. I'll try and find you guys the best players at each position throughout this series. So thank you guys again. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys again soon.